We're going to talk about how we find the common difference if all we're given are two terms. So suppose we're told that the fourth term, let me just write it this way, the fourth term is 41, and the fifteenth term is 8. So in other words, what we're being told is that a4 equals 41 and a15 equals 8. And what we want to find is the common difference between these two. Well, if you remember that I said that our an equals d times n minus 1 plus a1 is similar to y equals mx plus b, and you remember that we can find a point, if, or a slope, if we're given two points, and that the common difference and the slope mean the same thing, then really what we need to use is the slope formula modified distance is equal to a2 minus a1 over, let me write it this way, that's not going to work as well, am minus an over m minus n. And this will work. So this is my am and this is my an. So I'm going to take the output, 8. Let's write it in blue so it stands out. For this particular problem, we get 8 minus 41, the outputs, divided by the inputs, 15 minus 4. Well, now we just need to evaluate. 8 minus 41 is, 30, is minus 33, and 15 minus 4 is 11. So minus 33 divided by 11 is minus 3, so my common difference is minus 3. And I found this just the same way I would have if this had been a point or two points and I was trying to find the slope. So if you remember the slope formula, that makes this problem or this type of problem much easier. And of course, once we have the common difference, then we just need, we know that a4 equals minus 3 times 4 minus 1 plus a1. We can get our a1 just by plugging this in. So a4, which by the way, we know a4 is 41. So 41 equals minus 3 times 3 plus a1. 41 equals minus 9 plus a1. Let's make those look just a little bit different. So 50 equals a1. And I now know my first term as well using nothing but the fourth term and the 15th term, finding the common difference, and then solving for A1.